Alrighty, so I have a what's new at Canada's Wonderland in 2019 video for you today. I'm going to go over all new things at Canada's Wonderland. I'm going to talk about Dinosaurs Alive and show you the current plot of land and what it looks like. I'm going to show you Frontier Canada's construction site as well. Um, but let's start it off in Medfair. So as many of you know, um, Canada's Wonderland and Cedar Fair are going back to the old Taft era and erasing what Paramount did to the park, which is absolutely amazing. So we have the original names of Medfair coming back. You have the Canterbury Theater. Um, you have the Dragon Fire um, and Wild Beast and now Vikings Rage um, and King's Feast over at the uh, eating place. So lots of new signs. They're absolutely stunning. Loving what Cedar Fair is doing. And uh, I'm very excited for what the future holds for Medfair. They've been touching up the paint on all the railings, the stations in Medfair. Um, and uh, there's just a couple things that I would point out. I'm not a fan of the pop top 40 music playing in Medfair. I really want them to go back to, um, or not even go back. I want to see atmospheric music playing. I do not like it. Um, and hopefully we see it. But to start off, um, we rode Wild Beast and Mindbuster. Both rides had retracking. Both rides are a lot better this season. Mindbuster was my least favorite ride at the park. It is now probably um, my fourth or fifth favorite ride at the park. That is significant for me. I hated that ride. I loved it this season. So Mindbuster is definitely one of those rides you got to check out. Um, both rides are much more smooth. Uh, Craig is going to give you a quick review of his experience on Wild Beast. Um, so stay tuned for that. So Craig, uh, you just got off Wild Beast. Okay. How was it? So last year, compared to this year, it's a lot smoother. Uh -huh. Definitely a lot faster. Uh, but they, faster? Yeah, it feels faster. But <laughs> they retract the parts they didn't need to. Like that turn, the second one, the second turnaround has been redone, so that's smooth, which it was never a problem. The lift hill's redone, and the part after the the, the banked turn has been redone. So it's smoother, it's just not. So the retracking's making a difference. Yeah. How, how big of a difference? Compared to last year, I'd say it's gone up from like a four to a six out of oh. 10. Compared to Mindbuster. Mindbuster's a 10. A 10 for smoothness? Oh, for smoothness. <laughs> <laughs> Mindbuster's a five. A five, and this is a six? Okay. Um, outside of that, um, so super glad that the wooden coasters are comfortable at Wonderland again. They got new cushioning um, on the seats as well. Uh, the old VR experience has now left here and it looks like it's being moved over to World Expo. So this is now just a vacant spot. I believe a haunted house is housed in there. Um, Speed City Raceway uh, is now sponsored and it's themed. I'm not a fan of this as well. It does not fit into the Medfair theming. I would love to see this attraction removed altogether and Drop Tower repainted, but it is Crash Bandicoot. Um, I believe this is promoting a new racing game coming out for Crash Bandicoot or something like that. I don't know too much about the Sega Genesis games or Sega, um, but there's definitely a new game from what I hear coming out, and this is to promote it. It is sponsored from what I've been told. Um, I guess that's to help alleviate the cost. Uh, they now have this $10 game where you can pay $10 and win Fastlane tickets um, to a ride. You can also win a permanent Fastlane bracelet for the day. They are removing willows in the park, but that is because they are storm damaged. Uh, they are planting new willows as well. Over in Dinosaurs Alive, um, all the signage and dinosaurs have been removed. But outside of that, no signs of clearing, no signs of markings no signs of anything. So I could not find anything over in Dinosaurs Alive's area. All I could see is the dinosaurs, again, have been removed. Um, we did see this goose. Um, I was very scared because if any of you are uh, paying attention to what's going on, geese are attacking people left, right, and center right now. I don't know why, but I had to get the footage, so I risked it. Um, but yeah, no signs of anything. I don't even see marking stakes or anything removed. The electrical work is still there in that booth. Um, so that's interesting. I'm definitely expecting to see signs eventually popping up in this area as um, there should be some sort of action in Dinosaurs Alive if the rumors are true and there's a kids expansion coming sometime soon. Um, this is now Lumberjack Climb over in um, the Frontier Canada area. So this has been rethemed to fit in better. 
um, which is super exciting. We love things being rethemed to fit in their area much better. So again, hopefully Drop Tower gets that sometime soon. Uh, Action Theater is now an events building. So as you can see here, they're preparing for the Festival of Music at Canada's Wonderland. I believe that's where the high schools and schools come with the bands. Um, Frontier Canada is really far behind, but very exciting news. The Splashworks building is being retrofitted for Frontier Canada. I was very nervous that it wasn't going to be, so I'm very excited to see that. It would not have fit in very nicely with the building looking the way it did. So super excited that they're blending that building in for Frontier Canada. The Coca-Cola refresh station and the Canadian Treats building right there is nowhere close to done itself. Just the building itself is done. There's lots of trees and brush planted. Um, the brickwork is almost done as well, all the way over to Timberwolf. They're just finishing that up. Lots of work to do again. It looks like none of the interiors of the buildings are done. I also noticed that theming is being added. Every weekend I go, there's more theming added to Yukon Strikers queue line um, and the building and station platform. Um, so it's it, they're very behind. If you go on Mindbus, you can see lots of theming in the storage area still not put out as well. So um, definitely curious as to why they're so far behind. I would like to know whose fault that was um, or if it was just weather. Again, we're hearing weather might have been a huge factor in that. They did have a very cold and rainy um, April. So that's probably why. Um, as you can see here, lots of electrical work still being done. Um, again, that is old brick that you're seeing. I believe they're ripping up the brick. I'm not fully sure if they're ripping up all the brick and replacing it. But from what I can see in front of Splashworks, that's what they were doing. Um, and as you can see here, lots of brush and trees being planted, and it looks pretty good. Um, this is Chuck's Wagon right there off to the left. And uh, as you can see, they're planting some very Douglas firs are what I believe those are called. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. Um, I don't know my trees. I'm not a tree enthusiast. But um, the electrical work, I believe that's the emergency pump, again, to prevent flooding that's been installed in the tunnel. Um, there is electrical down there. Don't know what that's for. We are hearing that they may also paint the second tunnel there uh, darker color um, to make it a little more dark when you're going through there for night rides. So that's super exciting to hear. Um, but yeah, Frontier Canada is definitely very far behind in terms of none of the food is available that they were promoting at the media event, which is OK. Um, again, we don't know if this was supposed to be open for opening day or if this was supposed to be open for Splashworks opening day, we are getting down to the wire for Splashworks opening day as well. So we should see this being finished up um, sometime soon. Timberwolf Falls opens on May 17th. So we should see all this area completed as well. Um, definitely lots of work to do. And the park opens for daily operations this Thursday. So they're going to lose some of those um, days and extra time where they can work on it because of the lockout zones for Yukon Striker. Um, but yeah, we should start to see a little more action taking place. Here's the new sign over at Vortex. Again, you all already know this. Definitely love the new sign a lot more um, than the original. It fits into Frontier Canada as well. And Frontier Canada has those entrance signs. But even more exciting, Thunder Run has a lot of new wood. Honestly, most of the wood has been replaced on Thunder Run. As you know, the ride shut down last season for an extended period of time. Um, and it seemed to be related to the wood on the ride as we saw new wood installed shortly after and then the ride opened. Um, but yeah, super exciting. The wood looks awesome. There's lots of work going on in the mountain area as well. It seems like they're uh, re-retrofitting the mountain area for new shops um, and uh, hopefully some upgraded things. I do not know if Sugarbush Waffle and Dairy Bar was new last year, but I do know that they're serving... Um, the Kawartha ice cream this year and I think that's new correct me down below if I'm wrong but I put it in the video just in case but they have Kawartha ice cream that's going to be sold here it has not been opened the hockey game has been moved in front of Crash and Wagon um, and uh, that games booth has been closed I don't know what it's going to turn into nothing that I can see yet but again the hockey building has been moved over in front of the bumper cars um, and they uh, turned the old uh, hockey game, I believe, into the grab and go market is what this is going to become. So um, from what I understand, it's going to be quick grab and go foods, healthier options that you can quickly go and get in this place. Um, so that'll be super exciting. I would love to see and hopefully see some healthier options at Canada's Wonderland for food. And then the Grand World Exposition of 1890 is returning to Canada's Wonderland. Um, again, it lost its history and roots. Uh, when Paramount took over, and it looks like Cedar Fair is very interested in bringing it back. So hopefully that means that we'll see Flight Deck rethemed, Backlot Cafe return to its old glory, 
Um, that's what I'm hoping for. But hopefully you enjoyed this quick what's new for 2019 at Canada's Wonderland. Comment down below if I missed anything that's new for Canada's Wonderland in 2019. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.